Hello and welcome to your seventh Fancape scripting tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be learning about creating and destroying objects. So creating and destroying objects involves two different script blocks and they can all be found in the inventory inside the objects category. And here they are, they're called create object and destroy object. So let's take a look at create object. So what this does is it takes uh, an original block, a block uh, that already exists uh, within the game, and then it creates a clone of that object, and that can be used for all sorts of stuff. Uh, perhaps you want to have some enemies spawn in your game, or maybe you have something like a cannon, uh, which has to fire cannonballs, and what you could do is you could uh, create those cannonballs using scripts. Anyways, those were just some examples I thought <clears throat> I thought of off the top of my head. Uh, so here's how this script block works. So it takes an input, it takes uh, a block, um, which you've plugged in with this wire, and then it creates a clone of that object or a copy of that object. And uh, as you can see, the output of this block is the actual copy that the script creates. Uh, so, for example, if you want to set the position uh, to something uh, of that copy, if you want to change the posi position of the copy you created, you can plug this wire into a set position block and you can do that. So let's test this out. So let's create a copy of this brick block using scripts. So all you have to do is you have to drag the uh, pink wire into the block, so it creates this little arrow. And then uh, let's get a play sensor, so it only runs once. We don't run. We don't want it to run every frame because if it does, it's going to create uh, a copy each frame, and that's going to slow the game down very much. So let's just create one copy. So when we do this, it's going to, well, it's going to do that. And that's because we haven't really done anything with the copy. So it just uh, sets its position uh, to the, um, to the, like the corner of this block, if that makes sense. It just creates it right next to this block. But nonetheless, it works. As you can see, when I hit play, it creates a copy of that block and what we can do now is, in, let, let's say we don't want the block to just sit there in midair. Maybe we want the block to be there, you know? We want it to set the block's position to here. And we can do that. So all we have to do is we have to get the set position block. And then you can take the output of the uh, create object script block, uh, take the copy uh, output and plug it into the set position block and now you'll be able to set the the position of this uh, copy that you created so let's set it to 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 oh and let's do this as well there we go okay that didn't really work there we go so when we hit play now it's going to set the blocks position to right next to this block, just like that. Very cool. And what you can do is, uh, I also explained this in the, uh, in the tutorial about loops. You can combine this with a loop if you want to create, let's say 10 or 100 objects at once. Maybe you want to create like a huge grid of blocks. You can do that with a simple loop and a uh, create object script block, which is really useful. Now you can clone any block, not just bricks. You could also take the grass block and plug that in, and now we'll create a copy of the grass block. You can also do this with custom blocks. Uh, one thing to note though, uh, it's if you have any scripts, I haven't really uh, taught you this by the way, but you can put scripts inside blocks uh, to make them do certain things, uh, to make those blocks do certain things. That's something you can do. Um, it won't 
this block right here, create object, it won't uh, clone any scripts that are inside the actual block. See, what you can do is you can create a custom block and then you can put scripts inside here and whatnot. I'll show you that in a later tutorial, but any script blocks that are in here will not be cloned. And that's very important to know uh, because well, yeah, if you expect uh, the behavior of the block to stay the same, it won't. Uh, scripts won't be cloned. All right, so let's move on to destroying objects. Let's just delete this. Oh, it's right here. Destroying objects. So this script block will allow you to destroy any clones that you've created. This block cannot just delete, straight up delete blocks like this. If I plug this in here and try to delete this block, it won't work. Like it won't do anything pretty much. If I try to delete this block, it won't work. This block can only delete clones of uh, blocks you've created. Basically it can only delete blocks which have been created by scripts. So if I, um, if I clone this block, and then right after I've cloned it, I take the output and plug it into here. Uh, this is going to create a copy of this block and then immediately delete it. So you won't even see it. So there's really no point to this. But something else we can do, instead of this, we can say, for example, we could take out a touch sensor like this. And now when we hit play, the block appears and when we uh, tap the screen, it disappears or it gets deleted, it gets destroyed. So that's what this script block does. And the reason, of course, is that if you have objects spawning in your game, you'd also want to delete them at some point. You don't, you don't just want objects to keep spawning uh, with more and more of them piling up. That's not good. So you want to destroy some of the objects every once in a while. Anyways, that is uh, all I wanted to show you today. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next tutorial.